to another video on using the uh, UMP replacer configuration package. This is something I've been doing since I started using Mod Organizer, so I figured I'd share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize the Ashen race. So this is can be done with any uh, custom race you can get on mm, the Nexus or any mod really you can get for Skyrim. Um, and I've already installed it with the default settings and gave it a special name ending with warrior because I want a more warrior type race. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the UNP replacer configuration package um, choose some options and then show how you can apply those options to one of these if you haven't already figured this out uh, or otherwise thought of it. So, oh, And by the way, don't try this with the Nexus Mod Manager. It's way more trouble than it's worth and this makes it so much easier. Uh, what I'm going to do is, even though this one already has the UMP normal body, I'll go ahead and select skinny just so there's something different. Uh, and then you can verify that on your own if uh, you do this. Um, I'm just going to take the normal UMP face, uh, less abs, say no more bright bronze shine. Right, and oh yes, on a related note, this will cause a neck seam because this isn't actually a UMP texture. Uh, well, it's compatible with UMP, but it wasn't really made originally made uh, to go along with the face texture so there's a slight neck seam, neck seam if you care about that and I'm going to install a skeleton as well you'll see why later and that's everything I'm going to install here mm. and now I have to wait for it to unzip everything the second time <laughs> kinda wish they'd optimize that mm. and there, okay. Now that we have that, I'm going to open these in Windows Explorer, and of course it opened on the wrong screen. Let's see, it should be this one. Alright, so now that I'm getting everything situated here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, browse the UMP, and this is the default settings for Skyrim where you can see it's meshes, character assets, character, character assets. Uh, now over here, since it's custom, there is a folder called Oriental where you can fit custom parts. Now, and and the and here's everything that goes for the races er, that has to do with the race's body. And you can see there's no first person stuff, so I'm going to ignore that. Uh, the female body, that's the skinny mesh. Um, the female feet are actually the same files, uh, but the hands are different because they're a higher fidelity mesh made by Mr. Troublemaker. I'm just going to copy all those over and replace them. Oh, I moved them. Whoops. Yeah. In case you didn't want to uh, get rid of the original files. But you also notice there's a female skeleton here. That can be found over in the female assets. And this is, as you can see, different and more updated. But uh, what this means is you could put any skeleton you want here. If you wanted to get a custom skeleton from XP32's installer, uh, and have a, have this race only wear daggers on the hips, for example, you could do that. And that's everything I'm going to touch here. Character assets, these are all face parts uh, used by the mod. You most likely don't want to modify those. Ooh, whoops. Um, so next I'm going to install the textures, and those can be found in the likewise same locations. Although for this one I'm going to go to the female folder, the rest of these are face te textures. Uh, and then female likewise. So with this it's best to keep any everything that goes together together with textures. Uh, yeah, it's really easy to mess up textures just because everything really does go together. Um, so just copy everything that's related to the female body and everything that's related to the female hands together. Um, and that does matter because if you, you, if you don't copy the hands then you'll definitely notice a seam between on the wrist between where the hand is and the body texture is. <laughs> uh, and the head texture, it really depends on the mod, but you may actually not need this because there's lots already usually very good 
head textures. But in this case, I'm going to copy these as well, just for the heck of it. Uh, and with that, I've actually completely overridden the defaults for the Ashen Race. And at this point, if you start, if you edit it to your load order and started the game, you would actually uh, could verify this in game.